Hello! If you are somehow joining me and don't already know who I am, I am Hannah Bird with Hannah Crafted Gifts. And most of you here probably do already know who I am because I invited you to be here for my, let me get this right, well it's a catalog launch party, but it's catalogs and I want to get the names correct. So it's the July to December 2022 mini catalog, which I'm going to refer to as the holiday catalog, although there's so much more than that and the celebration catalog for this next celebration, um, celebration sale, see what they did there, um, which is July and August of 2022. So it all starts today when you're watching this, July 1st, but I am recording this on the eve of this launch. Um, usually I do these launch parties live, but I had a trip planned and got the opportunity to leave for that trip a little early. So I hope you all understand that I'm coming to you recorded this time because while you're watching this, I will be driving my way to family vacation. Um, so it is like Christmas Eve or catalog launch Eve. Um, and it really does feel like Christmas, not only because it's partly about the holiday catalog, but whenever Stampin' Up! reveals their new products, I feel like a kid on Christmas seeing all the new things. So I'm really excited to share it all with you today. I'm going to get right into it um, after just a quick overview of what to expect. So we're going to take a tour through both catalogs, starting with Celebration and then the July to December mini Oregon holiday catalog. And throughout, I'm going to show you project samples using new product, um, at least one of which is mine and others are friends of mine and I will give them credit. Um, I have a new group of friends here in my new home of North-ish Jersey. Um, and so I've connected with them and we've been able to do a couple meetups and they've done some excellent swaps. So I wanna share their work with you um, and thank all of them. And then at the end, I'm gonna talk about prizes. Now I'm hoping I remember everything. Um, already you might see like me having to pause and let the wheels turn because it has been a wild week. But I'm excited to be here with you. This is a great escape from everything else um, that can go on in life. And so I hope it's that for you as well, a great escape. So let's get started. The celebration catalog. Um, if you haven't already seen this, I will link to the PDFs um, for both these catalogs so that you can see them. And if you go to stampinup.com, you'll see all the product there as well. There should be a tab just for celebration, probably even a tab for the new mini catalog product, or else it'll all just be mixed in with the different types of product you might be searching for. But celebration, um, the way this works, again, it's July 1st through August 31st, so just two months. For every $50 you spend in product, your choice of product, so if you're already buying it, you're gonna get more for your money because for every $50 you spend, you get to choose an item from this catalog completely free. And they are exclusive products. You can only earn them by purchasing during celebration. Um, so that's what it talks about here on page two. It is $50 before tax and shipping and there are just a few extra special items that you can only earn by spending $100. So I'll make sure to point those out, but it starts at just $50. Um, page three is just a quick little reference guide. So it'll you know tell you to watch for the 50 and $100 uh, eligible items and some other um, types of products here that you can watch for. But it talks here as well about kits and especially paper pumpkin kits. It's the best time to get kits because for paper pumpkin, you can buy prepaid subscription codes um, and subscription can scare some people away. It's not that you have to have a reoccurring subscription. You can have a month to month subscription, but if you buy them prepaid in advance, then you can just redeem them when you want them. They never expire. So you can redeem them over, you know, several months, even years. Um, but buying them up front allows you to earn these items. Because for instance, if you buy three a three month um, prepaid code or set of codes, and again, you don't have to redeem them three months consecutively, you can redeem them here and there or whatever, then that qualifies you for one of the $50 items in here, um, or the items that you get when you spend $50. Um, and up from there, if you bought a six month subscription, that would earn you, let's see, two $50 uh, qualifying items or a hundred dollar qualifying item and if you did 12 months you know just keep doubling it so um, when you do buy the six and 12 months you also get a deal I think the six month is roughly saving a dollar and the 12 month is roughly getting one free so lots of ways to get deals if you can afford that um, upfront cost all right so here's the free things and we're gonna take a look at a sample right off the bat so everybody loves or at least a lot of people love the cute cartoon animals and their puns I do love puns I will say the the cute cartoon style is not as much my style, but I love the puns and everyone seems to love 
again, a lot of people seem to love this style. So they always have a stamp set like this, but this time they also have dies. So we'll come back to the sample, but this is the Happiest Hippo stamp set. So you can get that for free with a hundred dollar purchase. And for another $50 purchase, you can get the dies for free. And as hopefully you can see, um, these dark gray images show that it's gonna cut out things from the stamp set, like the three hippos. Um, but then it's gonna cut out some other things too, um, like little accessories to dress up your hippos. And so I'll go ahead and show you this example. This is from my new friend, Fran Trichetta. And so you can see the hippo that she stamped and colored very well, I might add. Um, I'm guessing with blends, maybe markers, but I'm guessing blends because she's got the, the dark uh, and light there. And then um, cut those out with the dies, I assume. Yeah, you can kind of tell it's die cut instead of fussy cut. So that makes it a lot easier. This is another die cut she added, um, some of the new DSP she added. These are the, the new in colors, the Orchid Oasis and Sweet Sorbet. And it says, to a wonderful friend. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. Some of them have insides and some of them don't. This one does not. Um, but thank you, Fran, for that cute little sample. I love how the Sweet Sorbet uh, cardstock behind here matches the flower that the hippo is holding. So that is Happiest Hippos and Hippo Dies. Next up, I'm gonna another sample. I'm gonna set it, set it down to show in a minute. Um, let's see, this is all one thing. And so this is one of my favorites. You guys know if you've been watching along, I love DSP, it's my favorite product, type of product. So this is the Rings of Love 12 by 12 designer series paper. Hopefully you can see, I learned from Stampin' Up that this was um, inspired by like a country cottage, which you can see on this DSP, but then there's flowers and other nature elements and uh, birds and just some patterns like plaids. And so you can see some of the projects, beautiful projects they've made here with that. It also coordinates with the Ringed with Nature bundle, which I'll show you when we get to the mini catalog. You can actually see some of the pieces of that um, on these pages and used in these projects. But here's the sample from my friend, Leslie Ann Marcella, or sorry, Marcella. And so she's used that embossing folder. So there's some actual texture here. You can feel if you saw this in person, you can feel it with your finger. Um, thinking of you, she used the DSP here, you can see, and then some of the stamps from the set. And this one doesn't have an inside either, just ready for a good long message, which I love when I make my cards. Um, so I love that DSP. I got that. A lot of these products I have already gotten myself. And so you can see those in my unboxing videos. Uh, if you check out my other videos on YouTube, you'll see my recent unboxings of, of most of these items from Celebration. <laughs> Cause as a demonstrator, we get early access. We can earn, um, the Celebration products about a month early. We can order from the new catalog about a month early. So one of the many benefits of being a demonstrator. All right. Next up are the pool party and soft seam foam cards and envelopes. You get 20 cards. 10 of each color and 20 envelopes. All the envelopes are the same. They have the soft seafoam on the outside, the pool party on the inside. Sorry, I'm dropping things out of my catalog. <laughs> um, and here you can see some projects using that. Those do coordinate with the Splendid Day Suite. I got that DSP. It's a specialty DSP with foils and embossing. It's beautiful. But you can also see the projects kind of blend from using that Splendid Day Suite with the cards and envelopes into using some of those same elements, but with this stamp set that you can earn for free called Stylish Sketches, which has not three, but four. It's hard to see this little dot splotch stamp, but four stamps in that stamp set. Again, everything you're seeing here is earned completely free and only during the next couple of months. Okay, I think this might be the best choice um, in this catalog because it is so versatile. Again, I'm biased because it's DSP, but it's a specialty DSP. It's silver and gold, six by six designer series paper. You get 24 sheets, so 12 each of two designs. And it is very hard to see here. Again, check out my unboxing video and you might see it a little better. But basically you have two polka dots in silver and gold and then two stripes in silver and gold. The gold is really hard to see there on the stripe and the silver is really hard to see on the dots. It's kind of ironic, um, but yes, these you can color. You can see in some of the samples here, they've used different coloring techniques to color it in because it is just white with the metallics. But of course that can be a, a beautifully elegant look as well. And then this is where we start to get into the items that you earn for spending $100 as opposed to 50. So you get this amazing phrasing stamp set, or at least you get your choice of, this could be your choice. Um, and that has tw uh, 17, I was gonna say 20, it's a lot of words, but 17, um, stamps. So that's why it's 
for that higher uh, earn point. Whoop, you just saw a sample peeking out there. It's coming, it's coming. Um, next are some dies. And again, a lot of dies in this set. You get 24 dies, so that's why it's uh, for a $100 qualifying purchase instead of 50. And this one coordinates with the trees for sale stamp set. So you can see in some of the projects here, you can actually see a bit of that stamp set there and some of the stamps. Um, and you can see some images were cut out with dies. And so that's a great one to get if you also like that stamp set. And I will um, show that in the mini catalog. And then lastly, I think this is the best deal for a $100 order because you get not just a stamp set uh, or dies like the last one, but you get a stamp set and coordinating designer series paper. This is called the Wonderful World Bundle. And so you get this 12 by 12 paper and the stamp set for free. And I have to say, seeing this in person, it really reminded me of granny style. <laughs> I don't mean that in any other way, but a sweet way. Um, it was very reminiscent to me. Uh, sorry for the clock tower. You can hear chiming our time. <laughs> um, very reminiscent to me of wallpaper and um, tablecloths. And so that inspired my sample that I swapped with my new friends with. Um, so here's the card. This is what it looks like folded flat or closed to mail. But then, and this is the amazing phrasing uh, sentiment, by the way, from that other stamp set I just showed you. But then it unfolds and it is a dining table fold. That's what I call it at least. Um, I do have a tutorial with uh, a partner that I did a long time ago on this fold. Um, I did mine a little differently and it was obviously with older, now retired product. Um, but a really simple fold actually with great effect because then it looks like this little dining table. So you have your tablecloth, your wallpaper. I did use the bottle happiness bundle, which I got from the new annual catalog. I think I talked about that in my last catalog launch party for that catalog um, to create the vase for the flower here, which I stamped and fussy cut out. Um, I also used the bottle punch for rounding the edges of my sentiment banner so that that would match. And I've added a few of the um, pearls from the annual catalog. Let's see where are the other ones. It's hard to, to catch in the light. I think there's one up oh, corner here corner here. There you go. Um, so again, just adding to that granny style dining room. Um, so that's something you could do just adding in a little bit of extra product. Oh, and you can write your message on the back. Um, let's see a couple other things from celebration before we move on to the mini catalog. So when you host during celebration, which just means that you on your own or you with a group of friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, whoever, um, spend a certain amount of money, you can earn extra things just like you do by making purchases. You always earn extra during celebration for anything you'd normally do. Um, so the threshold is $300, but again, that doesn't just have to be your spending. It could be you and a group you get together to buy and craft uh, on your own or together. So at $300, you get this free stamp set called perfect pomegranate. It's a distinctive stamp set, so you get that great variation in there. Um, and I think some of the projects they made are really beautiful. Like this one doesn't even use the pomegranate, it just uses the flowers, uh, floral elements. And if you're hosting, host rewards in general start at $150, so that might be more manageable for you. Um, and the rewards are just um, your choice. Uh, I don't mean to say just, it's your choice of product for free, it's a percentage of what you spend for free um, in your choice of product. Sorry, I said that really confusingly. At $150, you get a percentage of what you spent back in free product of your choice. That's a better way to say it. Um, and it goes up depending on how much you spend. Um, you can actually also earn an item 50% off depending on how much, again, you or a group uh, you get together spend. So you can get some great deals that way. The other thing that's extra during celebration is if you join, and again, words like join or becoming a demonstrator, I think can scare people away because they think they're gonna have to do something. They're gonna be obligated to start a business. You absolutely do not have to. And that's not just me saying that, Stampin' Up! says that. Many of the demonstrators from Stampin' Up! are just hobbyists who craft for fun and being a demonstrator allows them to do it with these extra benefits like early access I mentioned to new product, um, a discount, a community, that's been the most beneficial thing to me. Like I mentioned, some of my new friends here, I still have my old friends um, where I initially joined Stampin' Up! back in Florida and in the Southeast. 
Um, I've made friends really all over the country and even the world because of the community that you're afforded by becoming a demonstrator. Um, but what else? During celebration, when you join, which just means spending $99 plus tax and getting $125 worth of product of your choice, so there's another benefit right there, you're initially getting a discount, uh, so to speak, because you're getting $26 in free product, you're also getting free shipping, so you're saving on that. Um, but when you do that by getting a starter kit, then you also get this. It's called the Making Plans Collection. I've never seen them do this before. Oh, the light's kind of shining through. Let me fold that back so you can see better. So this is a really unique offering. They always do something special, but this time I think is really unique. Um, so it's this planner, which goes all the way through the end of 2023. So 18-month planner. Um, is that right? 18 months? Something like that. <laughs> all the way through the end of 2023, from July 2022 to December 2023. Um, it's eight inches by nine and a half inches. I've seen it. It's substantial um, and really quality. I, I saw it in person this past weekend at our meetup. Um, I'm very grateful to my friend Barbara who brought it to share. Um, you also get these three notebooks that uh, someone else at the meetup said can slip inside. There's like little pockets inside the planner, um, kind of like business card size and then notebook size. Um, and then you get all these sheets to plan out your week, your month, but beyond that, to think through your goals, think through your purposes, um, really get organized life-wise. And all these stickers, really fun stickers, they all have like the little Stampin' Up, you know, logo on them and um, it's on the Stampin' Up brand. So I hope, hopefully the light hasn't been shining too much for you to see that, but I think it's really a great gift and it comes with a free stamp set. And it's part, probably hard to see, it's really small on the screen, but the stamp set says things like to do, goals, thank you. So you could use it for planning, you could use it for cards, it has a little calendar, it has a little list, um, it has banners, it has images like stars and hearts and arrows. So really, really cool. Um, I think it's like at least a $45 value and you get that completely free. Plus everything you normally get in a starter kit free. All the business supplies, which you may not use, you can recycle them. It's things like um, invitation cards and catalogs and everything. Um, you get a free paper pumpkin kit though, a free past paper pumpkin kit. So you definitely want to keep that. Um, and again, just so many great things. So ask me if you're interested in hosting or, demonstra or demonstrating, joining, whether you want to demonstrate or not. Uh, I'd love to tell you more about it. And then lastly, on this last page, it just shows the different ways you can get more inspiration from Stampin' Up because, you know, you see all these different projects in the catalog that they're making. Um, you can follow them on their social media. Follow me on my social media here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Reddit. It's the only one I don't really keep up with. Um, my blog, it's all under Hannah Crafted Gifts. And you can also email me, hannahcraftedgifts at gmail.com if you want to take advantage of any of these things. But let's get right into the mini catalog because we have even more. Look at this. I think I have more tabs than I've ever had before. Um, and we're only like 18 minutes in, so we've got a lot to get through. So I'm still going to try to do this in an hour because that's what y'all planned for with my invite. Okay. <sighs> Deep breath. <laughs> so page three of the, what I'm calling holiday catalog, is your index. A really great place to find out what the different icons mean. I really like the clock icon because that just says quick and easy projects. Um, the bundled savings because you get 10% off so you want to watch for those and some other symbols um, and just where to find suites and indexes and other things throughout the catalog. So it's a good guide. On page five, usually kits are now found online. So whether it's Paper Pumpkin, um, the monthly subscription service, which are kind of surprise kits. We get sneak peeks every month. We never know exactly what we're going to get. So that's fun for those of us who like surprises. Um, or the kits collection, which you know exactly what you're going to get. Um, usually that's all online now on stampinup.com. But there is one very special kit in this holiday catalog. It's called the Nourish and Flourish kit. And the reason it's extra special is it's part of Stampin' Up's Making a Difference program, which is ways that they give back to charities. And so every holiday catalog, they have a product that gives uh, $3 of the proceeds towards a charity, um, usually within the theme of the product. And so this product's theme or uh, charity it's supporting is charities, I should say, um, that serve food insecurity. And so $3 from every purchase of this kit will go towards organizations working to end food insecurity. And the theming you will see in the fact that you get this lunchbox. And again, I saw this in person, thanks to my new friend, Barbara. And it is, once again, substantial. It was bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's um, nine inches by six and a half by six and a quarter, but that was hard for me to comprehend even being a crafter who's constantly working with uh, you know, measurements. <laughs> I'm just not very spatially intelligent. Um, crafting has helped, but it's big. Get your ruler out and, and, and see how big that is. Um, it would definitely fit a good lunch, I think. 
And then you also get to make nine cards um, and they are full size four and a quarter by five and a half cards. Um, they come with the sentiments already uh, written out for you. So it's a non-stamping kit. So super easy for on the go or getting started. You can see some of the projects here. Um, so I really like that that kit and the purpose behind it. But again, you can get more kits, um, the kits collection uh, on stampinup.com or paper pumpkins. And again, it's a great time to subscribe for those to earn your celebration items. So it does talk about those in the catalog and check out stampinup.com to see more about those. I do a lot of paper pumpkin parties, so um, certainly let me know if you'd be interested in, in joining one of those, handicraftygifts at gmail.com, and you can get on my evite list for those. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold this like this so you can sort of see a little bit all at once and then uh, you know zoom in on your PDF on stampinup.com. This is the first of the sweets. Sweets, if you're not familiar, are just products that have already been coordinated for you so that you don't have to do the guesswork like you would in a craft store of walking down the aisle and being like, well, what paper will match with this embellishment and so on. So this is called Sweetest Christmas. And the thing I wanted to point out about this sweet in particular is the real red and white glimmer paper. Um, so a special product there. Um, but lots of really sweet things in this sweet no pun intended. Um, next up, let's see. Okay. So on page 13, I wanted to point out these envelope treat boxes. I'm going to be pointing out a lot of different types of product because I think it's really easy to see the stamp sets. Like look at this page. What do you see? Stamp set. Um, but sometimes we miss, especially in the mini catalogs, the little extras um, that are kind of hidden in with the product or pr product samples. The project samples the samples of projects using new product okay <laughs> thanks for bearing with me <laughs> by the way normally i would love to be interacting with y'all's comments when i do this live and i'm finding that i really miss that so please still comment on this even though you're all watching it on replay because there was no live option this time um, and i will definitely reply read through and and like your comments you can also just like this video um, the most helpful thing you can do is subscribe if you like um, videos like this or unboxings or tutorials. Um, I do all sorts of show and tells and, and different things on my channel um, and share it with others. I'm going to talk about at the end, like I said, prizes and the way to win one of the prizes is to share this. So we'll talk more about that. Um, but please do comment because I miss having more of a conversation with y'all. All right. So the envelope treat boxes, I wanted to point those out because they could be easy to miss again on page 13, um, as well as in the back of the index, which I'll show you at the end. Okay, very next page, page 15. Um, I always like to point out these catalogs are more than just about sales. It's about inspiration. And I really mean that because again, the, what did I say before? Projects, samples of projects using new product <laughs> really can show you what you can do with it um, or with what you already have even. Um, and they'll have these little like tips or techniques that they'll, they'll tell you about in the fine print. So this one's talking about how to create this plaid effect. Um, which they actually did using decorative masks and then a marker to add in some lines. Must have been someone with a steady hand or a good ruler. Um, but anyway, I just, I love those little um, sort of hidden. I don't think they're, they're meant to be hidden, but uh, you can miss them at a glance. Um, opportunities for inspiration and learning. Okay, next suite is the Santa Express. And the thing I like most about this suite is how inclusive it is. So if you look closely um, at the designer series paper, it's a little hard to see in the catalog. You actually might see it better on some of the samples. Let me see. You have Santas of all different ethnicities, which I think is wonderful. So you have this Santa and this Santa and this Santa and this Santa and Mrs. Claus too, by the way. <laughs> um, so I just like the greater diversity that we're seeing in Stampin' Up! product. They've been, I think, doing better with that over the last few years. All right, page 19. Let me remind myself what I wanted to point out here. Oh, I think I wanted to point out, I mean, first of all, they're showing some embellishments. Um, so again, you could miss these, the adhesive back sequence and gems, but also, Stampin' Up! has started just the last couple catalogs doing these dies that only partially cut out images. And so then you can bend up the paper and you just get this little like peek through. So instead of a completely negative space, you kind of get this hybrid. So I think that's really neat. That's part of the Joyful Flurry bundle. It's the Frosted Flurry dies that do that. Um, and those coordinate with the Joyful Flurry stamp set. Okay, we've got another sample to show you. Maybe you just saw it out of the corner of your eye. Um, so the Sweet Gingerbread Bundle 
on page 20. I think is so cute. I love making gingerbread men um, and gingerbread houses at the holidays. And so this is a sample from my friend Lisa Yamamoto. Yamamoto, I think that's right. Um, when I meet these new friends, you know, I say, Lisa, so good to meet you. And I never hear them say their last name. So I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last names, please correct me next time we meet. Um, but she made this super cute card. You can see she actually used an embossing folder in the background to kind of make it look like snow. Um, it's actually the embossing folder, I think it's called Time Worn Type. And it has not only this kind of um, worn, what looks like on this card, because the context, snow texture, it also has some words. And I was telling her, that's like the fairy tale being told, you know, maybe about the, the gingerbread cottage. And so it fits. Uh, but she did a lot of work to emboss and then um, die cut and fussy cut a lot of these different elements to build up this little scene. And it says, from our home to yours, which I think is a beautiful sentiment any time of year. On the inside, you've got, have a sweet Christmas, which I love with a little lollipop. So super cute. Thank you, Lisa, for that. Um, and then on the next page, let me move that out of the way again, on page 21, I wanted to show you a returning favorite. Um, that's not my words, that's Stampin' Ups, although it is. It is a good one. Um, the gold holly leaves. So there are a few things coming back from last year's holiday catalog that we haven't had in the interim. They went away, but only temporarily. There's the chimes again. I'm gonna try to beat the chime on the hour because it's like this whole song. It's quite beautiful. Maybe it'll be how we end our time together, but every 15 minutes we get a little, a little song. All right, I'm just like showing you something on every page. So this is a returning favorite in not just SU's opinion, Stampin' Up! is SU, but my opinion. So this was something that I didn't get last year and I really wanted to, and I knew it was coming back. So I thought, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna see what else is out there, um, see if I changed my mind over the course of the year, because I was gonna get it kind of towards the end of the uh, holiday project making season. But I'm, I'm doing it, this is the year. This is the Merriest Moments stamp set and it coordinates with the Merriest Frames hybrid embossing folder, um, which is one of those embossing folders that you can put the die in and emboss and cut it all out at once. It cuts this beautiful foliage frame. You can see in some of the samples there that being used um, as well as some of the other elements. So that one's back and I'm excited about it. Okay, if you love classic Christmas, like I do, um, or traditional Christmas or whatever words you would put to you, red, white, and blue, and maybe a little bit of gold, um, then this is the suite for you. Boughs of Holly. I just think that is, you know, Christmas in that classic traditional sense. So I wanted to share that with you. That is pages 24 to 25. Really elegant and sophisticated. All right. Another returning favorite on page 29. Very similar actually to that suite, kind of last year's version of it maybe, um, in my opinion is the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. This one's maybe a little less realistic because again, it's the painted look, um, but still just a lot of the reds and greens. Did I say red, white, and blue earlier? Fourth of July is coming up. I mean, it is funny. I feel like summer, I'm just realizing that summer has started um, and we're talking about Christmas, but that's how it goes in retail, right? So hopefully I've been saying red and green, not red, white, and blue. Um, but yeah, reds and greens and a kind of uh, natural Christmas elements like holly berries and pine cones and pine boughs. Okay, and then this is my favorite suite. Really, literally just the next page. I feel like every page we're looking at. This is the Lights A Glow suite. And it may not seem like much from afar, but when you look at this up close, there are so many beautiful details. It's what's on the cover of the catalog, by the way. Um, which on the cover, I was like, that's nice. But then when I saw this, I thought that's nicer than nice. And then I saw it in person. I have a sample I'm gonna show you. Um, but you've got a lot of special things in this suite. You've got glimmer specialty paper. You've got festive foil specialty designer series paper, plus just the standard light to glow, but specialty designer series paper, because it all has gold. So one side of every sheet has gold on it. Um, this was unboxed in one of my most recent videos. I showed this, but also embellishments and just beautiful. This is a double um, stamp set and die set uh, suite. And they have, it's hard to see, but they just, let me show you on the next page. I guess I can show you a little closer up. They have um, like little peek throughs in the dies. So here's the stamp set and you can see there's lots of like little light dots. Um, and so the dies have dots that kind of correspond and create these, these beautiful shimmery images. Just, just magical. 
here's a sample. Can you see it better in person? See that shine? So you've got the designer series paper here and here. This is the festive foil. And this is one of those glimmer sheets. And you've even got the ribbon. This is my friend, Brenda Miller. She put a little, a bit of everything of the suite on here. So it's a great sample. Um, nothing on the inside yet, but really, really love this suite and love this sample to show it off. All right, moving right along. I'm glad we're making, we're making decent time here. We're 30 minutes in and making our way through the catalog. Maybe I'll get done early. That's never happened, but I've never not been able to interact. So we'll see. Um, okay, so this, I wanted to show you this sample. Um, first of all, here is the set. It's the Christmas Scotty bundle, which is the Christmas Scotty stamp set and the Scotty dog punch. Um, last year I fell in love with that, um, pet sweet, what was it called? Sweet stockings or something like that. Um, and so they have another, another little doggy for us this year. So it says, may your days be furry and bright. How cute is that? This is a, an, uh, a die, I almost said an embossing folder. This is a die separate from the sweet, but goes so well because it's like that plaid. And then on the inside, look what she did. Woof, woof, Merry Christmas. I love the dog sitting up. It's like he's, you know, going for the bow or something, making some mischief. So this was from Barbara Dykow. She's the one who shared the um, the planner and the lunchbox that I was um, referencing earlier. And on the very next page, page 35, that was page 34 with the Scotty dog, page 35, um, kind of, again, maybe hidden here because you look at the stamp set first is the stars treat bags. Um, so really good for giving little treats at the holidays. But you know, stars, that is not necessarily Christmas. In fact, that's very 4th of July. You couldn't get them in time because today when you're watching this, July 1st is the first day to order from this catalog. So it's not gonna come by the 4th, um, especially over the weekend and with the holiday. But my point is just, there's a lot in the holiday catalog that could be used for a lot of different holidays or occasions or year round. Okay. Um, I guess I wanted to show you this just because I liked it. <laughs> I don't usually do that, um, but I really liked this suite, the Window Wishes bundle with the Window Wishes stamp set and Window Dies. Um, just creating little scenes is one of my favorite things, and this definitely does that. And you can see they made a treat box, they've made a card. Um, there's an embossing folder kind of hidden up in the corner here. That's the Cascade Ruffles 3D embossing folder. So I guess that's good to point out as well. Um, but you know, this is a very versatile set because even though it says things like Mary's wishes, first of all, it doesn't just have to be Christmas. Um, May happy moments and wonderful memories be yours this season. Definitely not Christmas, not exclusively Christmas. <laughs> hopefully it's Christmas, but hopefully it's more. Peace, you know, so not all Christmas. For lots of joy at Christmas, that one might have to be Christmas. But <laughs> you know, if you don't do it in red and green and you don't necessarily have, you know, certain elements like the wreath, like this, this could be welcome to the neighborhood you know, that, that house card to me. Um, and then I also wanted to share this. I remember uh, I was just saying how I liked the, the pets things last year. This is another version of that for this year, the North Pole Mischief stamp set with dogs and cats. Cause that Scotty dog, super cute, but you know, my heart is with my late cat Chandler. So I love the cat with the mistletoe and the fish <laughs> uh, or the dog having wrapped up the cat to the North Pole. And you've got some cute sentiments like, you know, you've been good this year, mostly. <laughs> and happy gift wrapping season. I love wrapping presents. That's one of my favorite things uh, this time of year. Or hmm, not so much summer, but when we get closer to Christmas. Um, the snowy white velvet sheets is a returning favorite. And again, especially because they're white, you'd almost never notice them up in the corner there. So that's good to take note of. Again, that was page 37. Page 30, oh, I was gonna say page 39. We're only going one page further, but actually we're, we're not even going one page further. We're going to page 38. We're literally going to the next page. Um, I wanted to show you, first of all, the Yeti to Party stamp set I think is really cute. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the catalog here. Um, cute and a creative, you know, kind of different thing to have for the winter season. But this snow crystal stamp is a background stamp. So even though it's shown very small here, that's only 50%. So it's gonna be big like this. Uh, so the background stamps I think are really great, especially for beginners or people who need to make things quickly uh, because you can cover so much just with one go. It's also a great time to have the stamp apparatus though, because sometimes those big stamps are hard to, you know, get fully transferred with one push and the stamp apparatus lets you continue to do it over and over again in the exact same spot. Um, but on page 39, what I was going to show you is this is the stamp set that goes with those dies from the celebration catalog, the trees for sale stamp set. And you have another uh, embossing folder kind of hiding here in the corner, the Whimsical Woodland 3D embossing folder, which you can see really well here. 
they've used it and then kind of done the technique where they, I think, drag the craft uh, white stamp pad over it. And so it really brings out the design there. They've either done that or they've um, put the ink pad on the embossing folder itself. That's another technique. But if you forget to do that, you can just kind of drag it gently across the embossed image and, and get more detail. All right, another specialty paper. There's a couple actually coming up on these pages. So page 40, you have the Snowflake Specialty Vellum. I know I'm kind of getting cut off here, but hopefully you can hear me. And the more important thing is to see what I'm talking about, I think. <laughs> so you get six sheets, two each of three designs. And one design um, is like snow uh, flakes. So it looks like polka dots. And the other side is zoomed in. So you actually see the design of the snowflakes. And half of them are, um, iridescent foil and then the other half are white flocking so I think like vellum and then on page 41 you have up here in this corner um, the metallic shimmer specialty paper so you get these are six by six you get 12 single-sided sheets four of each of three colors evening evergreen with gold basic black and silver and then cage and craze and pumpkin pie so a good one for fall we're about to get into some of the fall themed things, which I always love because as much as I love uh, the holiday season, I don't love winter, but I do love fall. I love the colors and just the foods and pretty much everything about it. <laughs> um, now I know a lot of you are going to be excited about this because this is just very in. Uh, Stampin' Up! really tries to be on trend and I think they certainly are proving that with this suite. This is the Storybook Gnomes suite. That's right. Um, and with this suite, we have a returning favorite of the Snowfall Accent Puff Paint to create that 3D puff. It's kind of magical. You like put it on and it's a liquid and then you use your heat tool on it and it puffs up and gets really 3D. And we also have some great embellishments with this suite, the stamp set dies DSP. And here you can see some of it. <laughs> so this is from my friend, Carol Bone. And so cute, um, all the die cut pieces to make this little gnome. I love that you can't really see his face, just his nose and his beard. It says to the coolest friend ever. And this is some of that DSP, the mushrooms, ready for a sweet message inside. So it's a really cute sweet. Um, she also made a, uh, what's it called? An anniversary card that she shared with us with like two gnomes holding hands uh, for her husband, which I thought was really sweet. So another sort of unique thing that this catalog has done, and there's gonna be more examples of this later, but they've recognized that for not, Christmas is not cold for everyone. So again, I started Stampin' Up! down in Florida. A lot of you uh, watching might be my friends from Florida. And so even though this is a very winter set with the snowman, snowman magic is the name of the set on page 44. Look at this sample. They used that same set to make a Sandman, which I think is so cute. It says, thinking of you this season. And you know, who up north in the cold wouldn't be jealous getting that around Christmas time? I know I would. Um, that's where I'm going tomorrow though, to the beach. I'm so excited. And on a very nice page, page 45, I just wanted to point out another returning favorite, the wonderful snowflakes. These are the iridescent snowflakes from last year that are back. All right, this one's kind of different. Maybe I've said that a lot, um, but this one is definitely versatile, not for any particular season. I would say it's for all seasons. It's the Countless Trees set, and you have pine trees for maybe winter, but you also have palm trees for maybe summer, or again, just, you know, for living up north, living down south, if you're here in the U.S., um, but you've got bushes and just all, like, little pots and um, all types of things to combine, and one of the really special things about this set is it's reversible. So one side of the stamp you have, like, the stem and the leaves, and the other side you have um, what's going to color in around it. So you can see here, like the detail inside is one color and then the outside is another color. And that's just front and back, um, of the same stamp, which I think is really cool. And there's a, just a few reversible stamp sets in our catalogs. You can look for that little image. It's like two little tulips and that'll tell you if it's reversible or not. I think those are really neat. And again, just a really versatile set. And now we're into fall. So page 48 is the Rustic Harvest Suite. They get me every year with the fall themed suite. I just think it's so beautiful. The colors, the colors. Um, and this one comes with an embossing additions toolkit. So these are some um, products we used to have. They disappeared and now they've come back in a, a bundle form or a toolkit form. I shouldn't say bundle, um, a toolkit form. And it's the I want to get the names right. The Embossing Buddy, which is like this little um, sachet <laughs> of powder that you put on your project so it will um, resist 
embossing where you don't want it to be like maybe because your uh, fingerprint was on there and some of the oils from your finger can catch the embossing powder and so you end up with this like uh, messy look as opposed to a clean professional embossed look so the embossing buddy is super helpful um, and then you also get a Oh, maybe this is what they're calling your embossing buddy. This used to be called an embossing buddy. They're calling this the powder pal, but this tray is the embossing buddy. So you put your project in there, pour the embossing powder, and then it has this little funnel at the bottom so you can put it back into the container and it just it keeps it uh, keeps your work surface clean because that embossing powder just gets everywhere. Um, and then the powder pal I was telling you about, crafting tweezers to hold your project while you're using the heat tool so you don't burn up your fingers. Um, and a crafting brush so you can brush the powder like down out of the tray or if you do get it somewhere on your project or on your work service, you don't want it. So if you're doing heat embossing, that's super helpful. And I think it's somewhere on the next few pages, if not the next page, the very next page, page 50. Um, where it's giving you some of those technique tips for how to emboss. And you can get more of those tools I've been mentioning, like embossing powder, the heat tool from the annual catalog. I also just think this is one of the most beautiful samples in the catalog. I just love that. And it's probably hard to tell. Um, even for me in person, looking at the catalog, it's hard to tell because we can't see the card actually in person. But it does have that gold embossing um, on the outline of the pumpkins. And, and it looks like the leaves are embossed as well. So, you know, in person that would be raised and shiny metallic if, that, if that's what you're using, like gold or copper or silver. You can also use clear, black, white. It's one of my favorite techniques, it's like magic. I did it as a little kid, so it's a little nostalgic to me. It's probably scary to think of doing that as a little kid. One of my babysitters was very brave and brought over her uh, card making and embossing supplies. Maybe that's why I got so quickly into this later in life. Um, so on page 52, we have the Fond of Autumn bundle, and this is just another kind of unique die because it's almost the full size of the card front. Um, and instead of cutting out the image, there's also a die that cuts out this image, but this one cuts out like almost a lace pattern. Um, so it's not a peek through, it is a full negative image, but it's very delicate, very detailed. Um, so I just thought that was really beautiful. And then on the next page, page 53, I have this little stamp set, a couple little stamp sets, and you might just easily pass those over and be like, oh, you know, what's so special about those? The Soft Seed Link stamp set made this. And how special is this card? This is from my friend June. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna mispronounce her last name. Craig? Craw? C-R-E-A-G-H, so sorry, June. Um, you'll definitely have to correct me next time we see one another. You can actually see the same background die as the Scotty dog, but look how different that is in two different applications. Um, but she fussy cat uh, all these leaves and the little spinners. Isn't that great work? Um, and she has the So Grateful stamp on there, some embellishments. And then on the inside, for you, with a stamp. So really well done card and really made that little stamp set stand out. Um, so that's the work of a, of a good crafter right there. And it just goes to show you can make something beautiful out of any of these. Um, even if they're not the ones that immediately catch your eye. Or maybe these did immediately catch your eye. I will say this one, it should be a pun. It says a pleasant little note. Shouldn't that be a pheasant little note? Come on. I mean, that was like so close. It's called painted pheasant. I feel like they meant to do it and didn't. Um, here you also have an embossing folder hiding the leaf fall 3D embossing folder. So again, try not to miss those. If you do miss those, you've got the chance in the index at the back to catch them. Um, but as we get into fall themes, of course, we get into Halloween themed things. So I really like on page 55, the black and white uh, designs, 12 by 12 designer series paper. I mean, look at what I'm wearing. If I could stand up, my pants look like this paper. I'm wearing like black and white checkered pants and a black shirt. And that's pretty much always what I'm wearing, black and white and gray. Um, and so I just think there's so much possibility with this paper. You can see here, um, they've you know colored it in with some different coloring tools. I thought this was colored in, that's actually cardstock, but these have some coloring in on them. So there's just so many possibilities when you start with Kind of a blank canvas. Um, and then on the next page, I have a sample to show you, but this makes me want to have a reason to craft for Halloween. And I'm just thinking I'm going to come up with one. I'm going to do a class or I'm going to like, I don't know, make things for kids in my neighborhood I haven't even met yet. <laughs> um, or, you know, something because I don't have kids of my own yet. I do nanny um, a baby though, so he doesn't know what Halloween is yet. <laughs> um, but this is just the cutest bundle to me. It's called the, um, Let's see, the Scary Cute Bundle. Well, there you have it. And it's the Scary Cute stamp set and the Scary Silhouettes dies. So first of all, you have these great silhouettes of kids dressed up and trick-or-treating, like a little um, ghost and uh, 
dragon or dinosaur and maybe a robot and you've got Frankenstein and a fairy and um, a vampire and some really cute little puns like um, say boo and scary on um, check and treat your trick or treat you're so sweet love at first bite happy Halloween of course boo to and from and then the dies make these little scenes so um, you've got like the little house and the bats and the cat and the little woods and here let me show you the sample so this was inspired um, by this project in the catalog you can see hopefully the similarities between this one here and the card um, but this is a little treat box and my friend Mary Bradford turned it into a card and made it just a couple changes but she popped this up on um, like those foam strips so it's like a 3d window and you're looking through at Frankenstein through the woods with the the cat and look how she put um, different color for the eyes um, so well done. And this uses that uh, black and white paper I was showing you. Again, let me get the name of that. Black and white designs. <laughs> well, there you go. It is what it sounds like. Or it sounds like what it is. And she also stamped on the inside those little silhouettes again. Used some dyes to create some texture there. So super cute Halloween. Usually Halloween is too scary or gross for me, but I like dressing up and I like candy. Uh, and I feel like this uh, bundle kind of just captures that cute fun part. Um, on this page, I wanted to show you that we have a new type of product coming back. So we've had washi tape in the past and now we have it again and it's glitter. So it comes in four colors. You get black, Highland Heather, Old Olive, or pumpkin and pumpkin pie, not or, and pumpkin pie. Um, those four colors all in one little pack of, of glitter washi tape. All right, how are we doing on time? 45 minutes, we've got 15 to go. I think we'll make it. So the next suite is the Gingham Cottage. Sorry, I'm covering it up. And they often do a suite like this that I feel like is meant for all seasons because of the colors and the images and everything. So you can see in the samples, you've got like a Christmassy looking one and maybe a fall looking one and a spring looking one. Um, so just, you know, something for everything. Um, you've got the different color DSP, um, again, in some, you know, traditionally like Christmas holiday colors, some traditionally fall colors, but then like, look at the pink, very spring or like baby shower or, um, you know, floral, you've got just the black and white. And again, you could color that and make it anything. A new type of product we have in this uh, suite is the Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics. I'm very curious to hear about these and try them myself. They come in black, real red and white. And what I'm thinking you can do is accent things and maybe even create your own embellishments almost. Like it looks like they have here with the little dots. I don't know if you could then peel them up and stick them or if you would just put them, you know, right where you want them to be the first time. Um, but a great way to get some, some texture with a new type of product. So I'm very curious about that. All right, a few more things before we get to the index. I thought these were super cute. Again, versatile. Um, this is the design a treat bundle with the design a treat stamp set and design a treat box dies and so you can see they've used them to make like maybe a countdown to christmas like a little advent calendar they've also used them to do like an easter bunny treat box you've got um a reindeer maybe again for christmas and you've got a bat maybe for halloween the 31st i'm guessing that was a halloween reference um but all sorts of things you could do with that think of all the little creatures you could create with those dies and you've got the little the face there um, so you could do dogs, cats, maybe, I don't know, all sorts of things. Here is the Ring of Nature bundle that I referenced when we were looking at the celebration catalog. This is the stamp set that goes with that designer series paper. And again, the hybrid embossing folder, which let me open this fully up, gets you uh, the embossing folder and the dies. So you're able to create the texture of the, um, of the tree rings and then also cut them out and, and have like an outer layer in one color and an inner layer of another color and do all sorts of things because you get not just the dies that go in the embossing folder but you get these other dies as well um in fact you don't just get rings hopefully you can see you get like um dies for little leaves and sprigs and things like that as well and then over here um you guys have heard me talk about the bundled happiness uh products from uh, my sample earlier today and then my uh, last launch party for the annual catalog. This is one of my favorite things in that catalog. And they have another stamp set that goes with the vintage bottle punch. So it's called Vintage Christmas. And so you get a couple different kinds of bottles and different things to put in the bottles and um, different sentiments for the holidays, like making spirits bright. I feel like that's a good pun if you do make it kind of uh, alcohol <laughs> bottles. But again, they could just be vases. Um, here's that splendid day suite I also mentioned earlier. This coordinates with the cards and envelopes from Celebration. This 
is an interesting one to have in this catalog to me because this looks like more of a January to June catalog item. And so I like that they're kind of, maybe I don't know if this was their intention or not, but bridging into um, late winter, springtime, um, because it's kind of with the foils and the white embossing on each sheet, uh, maybe kind of like, you know, those first um, signs of flora coming out after a frost. It's a really, um, I keep using the word elegant today, but it's, it's a really elegant and kind of whimsical because of the color choices sweet. So I really like that. All right, so many good things. I'm having to skip over just because we don't have time for it all. But on page 68, sorry if I haven't been continuing to give you the page numbers. Um, I think this is a great bundle for beginners, especially. It's the very best occasions bundle and you get a lot of sentiments for a lot of different occasions. And then you get this punch, which is really easy to use when you're starting out if you don't have the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine to use dies and embossing folders. A punch is a great quick thing to use and a small tool to store. Um, and it creates three different um, types of edges to your cards, as well as like a hole punch. Um, maybe two different types of edges to your cards and a hole punch. But on the next page, 69, is one of those beach sets um, for those having Christmas in warmer weather. Um, and it is a Christmas set. It says sunny seasons, greetings. Um, but also happy birthday, sunshine, love you to the beach and back. That's one of my favorites. And you can see the sample they put, um, hopefully you can see, they put little red embellishments in the palm trees. So it's kind of like a Christmas version. And then, you know, maybe just a summertime version. So I really like that inclusivity as well. All right, so now we're back into the indexes. So I just wanted to um, let you know how to use those. So not that it's hard, but uh, starting on page 72, you have the indexes of the bundles. So again, these are items that have been bundled together, usually um, a stamp set and a tool like dies or a punch. And because you, if you buy them together, you get 10% off both. So it's a great way to save. Um, this is also where you can see some more samples. And so sometimes you look through and you're like, oh my gosh, what made that card? Because maybe the samples um, where you saw it first in the catalog didn't stand out to you, but back here they do. So just more inspiration. Inspiration to buy, I know, but inspiration to create and share as well. <laughs> Um, so those go all the way to page 79. And then starting on page, page 80, you have the catalog at a glance, which I love that they do in these mini catalogs. Um, they give you a little thumbnail image of every stamp set, every tool. You have your embossing folders here on page 81. And then on page 82, um, you have your punches, your papers, your ribbons. And then on page 83, you get into even more things that I feel like these are the things that could really be hiding in the catalog. And I tried to point as many of those as I could out as we went. Um, but you have your specialty papers, your memories and more. We didn't talk about those. Those were part of the Santa Express suite. Um, you have your packaging, your uh, extra tools like the embossing editions toolkit we talked about, the kit we talked about, nourish and flourish, but all these accents and embellishments, these are really easily hidden throughout the catalog. And so this is a great place to come and look and, and see, oh, did I miss that? And you can go back, it'll tell you where to find it, um, what page to find it on, and you can see some of the samples using that product. All right, so last couple things. Um, on page 84, it does talk about, again, the opportunity to host um, by getting people together to spend or just spending your own up to um, a certain amount. Again, starting at $150, you earn rewards. During celebration, you earn even more. If you can get to that $300, you get that extra special free stamp set I showed you. Um, and then joining, which again, gets you deals any time of year because you're spending 99 plus tax, um, but you're getting $125 worth of product. You're not paying shipping. You're getting the free paper pumpkin. You're getting the free business supplies if you want them. You're getting the early access, the discount, the community. I mean. I, I feel like it could sound pushy me saying all this. I'm not trying to push anyone to do something they don't wanna do. Um, it honestly doesn't benefit me. I do it for your benefit because I do think it's the best deal. I signed up to be a demonstrator almost right away when I found out about Stampin' Up! because it gets you so much more. Um, and I've stayed because I continue to get that support for my creativity from the community. It's the people who've kept me. It was the product um, that initially uh, excited me and it's the people that have continued to keep me a uh, part of all this. So thank you uh, for being some of those people, for supporting me in this, whatever you choose to do from here, um, whether it's just having watched, sharing this with someone else who might enjoy it, um, making a purchase, joining a, a, an event that I put on, um, anything and everything. I just, I really appreciate y'all. Um, if you do host, in addition to um, the earning rewards I mentioned where you get uh, a percentage of your 
purchase, you or your group's purchase back in product of your choice. Um, and again, that free extra stamp set during celebration. You can also um, buy special products just for hosts at a discount, um, not just at a discount, you can only get them by hosting. So there's a, a stamp set. There's some in the annual catalog too. Um, and so it, it's a $22 value and you get it for 13 and you can only get it by hosting. It's called Caroling Mice. And then there's also this celebrating everything designer series paper. Again, a great thing to have for anyone, but especially a beginner. It's a $30 value. You get it for 18. It's 48 12 by 12 sheets and it is like something for everything. So it's hard to see all these designs, but there's um, on a sample elsewhere in the catalog, there's fireworks. I was like, where is that DSP? It's right here. Um, there's ornaments. There's just patterns like plaids and these little plus signs and, and all sorts of colors. Um, so some of those host products can be really good. And again, check the annual catalog for those as well. One more reminder of social media. You can follow Stampin' Up. They do YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, Instagram. I usually follow them on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook. I don't do as much with Instagram, but again, I have my own social media on all those same things. Obviously YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, um, Reddit. That's the only one I don't really keep up with. Um, but so much goes into these catalogs and they've started showing us on the back cover usually on um, the same suite as the front cover. They show us the artists actually making like the designer series paper. Here goes the long, the long bell. It hasn't quite been an hour, but we started just after the hour. And so we're getting the, the next hour's song here. So forgive that. Um, but while that's ringing, I want to share with you guys about prizes. It's finally prize time. So let me see if I can remember my own deals. Um, so for the entire month of July, up until July 31st, right? 31 days in July. Um, if you watch this and share it with someone else who watches this, then you will both be entered to each win a prize. So what I'm gonna do is, let me go back to this page. Page 83 is where the accents and embellishments are, okay? And I am going to give you either the adhesive backed seasonal sequins or the festive pearls. Um, I think they're some of the most versatile embellishments in the catalog. Um, you get red, green, gold, and iridescent in the one, red, green, gold, and silver in the other. So you'll get one and your guest will get one. Again, you get that by watching this video. So comment that you watch so that I'll know you did because YouTube just shows me number of views. It doesn't show me who. So you'll have to comment that like, you know, Hannah watched. Um, and then invite people to watch and they'll have to do the same thing. They'll have to say, Hannah watched because Bethany referred her. <laughs> um, so let me know that you're here and watched and who brought you here. Um, and so you and that new person who you invite um, and introduce me to by watching this or introduce to me by watching this will both be entered. So the more people you invite, the more chances you have to win. And if someone invited you, invite your own people and then you'll have more chances to win. And again, you both, the inviter and the invitee will both win one of those embellishments. So hopefully that makes sense. That's all through the month of July. So um, do that all throughout until July 31st and I'll announce a winner on August 1st. So that's the month long participation prize. The week long purchase prize is this. For every, oh, I already forget what I said. Hmm. I may have to do some quick math here and remember. I think I was going to do for every $40 you spend in product of your choice, you will get to choose, let me go back to that page again, one of the accents and the embellishments. So your choice of one of these accents and embellishments on this bottom section of page 83, you can see right there the heading, accents and embellishments. The only one I'm not going to include is the pearlized enamel effects and basics because that's kind of like three embellishments in one. Um, so it would be anything else in this accents and embellishments section except for the pearlized enamel effects basics. So you would get your choice for every $40 you spend. I'll add that to your order. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to reach out to me um, via email, hannahcraftedgifts at gmail.com. Um, or if you're a close crafting friend and you have my phone number, you can also text me or call me. Um, but I will have to place that order for you so that I can add in those accents and embellishments that you choose. Again, for every $40 you spend. So spend 40, choose one. Spend 80, choose two. Spend 120, choose three. And so on. You can get them all if you want. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, hannahcraftedgifts at gmail.com. Um, get your purchases in within this next week. 
So the first week of July, I'm gonna say till July 8th, you have to um, let me know about your orders to earn those free accents and embellishments of your choice for every $40 purchase. And then the whole month of July to watch this, comments, let me know you watched, invite others, tell them to comment that they watched and that you invited them. Um, and the more you do that, the more chances you'll both have to win one of those accents and embellishments from me. Thank you all again for watching and for your support. Thank you for thinking about Christmas in July. <laughs> um, and I look forward to continuing to craft with you all and connect with you one way or another in the future. So until next time, happy crafting uh, or just happy connecting. Take care.